The bright colors of fall are there in spite of the fact that it hasn't rained for most of us in nearly a full month. That's what it looked like at Oak Mountain State Park earlier today. The calm water, the bright yellows and oranges in the trees there. If it had rained just a little bit, the colors might even be more brilliant than they are. And I fear that a lot of us are going to miss out on that bright pop of color we would typically have in early November because of the heat and because it's just so dry out there. Tuscaloosa hit 83 today. Calera, Shelby County Airport and Birmingham Shuttlesworth at 82. Anniston was at 81 and it's hard to believe that's an improvement over where we've been lately. Here's where we're going tomorrow morning. A lot of upper 50s and low 60s. It will be cooler on the eastern side of the state than the western side and that goes for tomorrow afternoon too. There may be a 10 degree difference between Roanoke and Randolph County and Gordo and Coker, maybe even more than that for Knoxville and Greensboro and Fawnsdale mid 80s tomorrow afternoon. This east breeze coming in from Georgia actually has some slightly cooler air with it as well as plenty of dry air. It's coming down the Atlantic coast into East Alabama tomorrow evening. But look at the color change here. You're not looking at temperature, you're looking at pressure. So that area of high pressure starts to pull away from us. And then a cold front moves into the middle part of the country toward Thursday morning. So what happens here? Well, we still have the dry, cool air trying to come in from the east. Gulf moisture is increasing to the west. And with the front coming in, there's at least a chance that we could have a little bit more rain in the forecast here. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday temperatures well above normal. But look at the dip there from Thursday Halloween toward Friday. And then it rebounds back to the 80s again through Saturday and Sunday. That little dip on Friday, that's going to be at least a chance of some measurable rain generally northwest of Jefferson County. So you look at Jefferson and Shelby. I think there are some places Birmingham to Alabaster, Chelsea. We're not going to get a drop of rain out of it, but then from Jasper and Coleman Northwest, especially toward the Shoals, it is a much better chance because that's where the better moisture is going to be. Remember dry air coming in from the east, moisture coming up from the southwest, and it just kind of fizzles as it gets here into central Alabama. So will there be rain on Halloween? Well, it's a possibility. We'll put it that way. Some showers late in the evening. The farther northwest you are, the more likely that rain would be. Halloween itself mostly dry. A few scattered showers will linger into Friday and then Saturday and Sunday still looking rather warm and rather dry. Coming up next in